Hello, welcome to my channel. I hope you can see me. I feel like the camera is making my eyes look kind of weird. But, let's just get on with the video anyway. I just hope you can see me. I mean, you don't really even have to see me. Just listen to what I'm saying. You don't even have to see my face. Just listen to what I'm saying. So, um, some stuff has happened today. And I want to talk about that. And I want to talk about some other stuff. This video might be longer than my typical videos. My typical videos are probably around 20 or 30 minutes. But this one might be a little bit longer, because i got quite a bit to talk about. So, let's get into the video. Oh, before we start, if you hear noise in the background, um, my niece is here, and my mom and sister are in there. So, if you hear any noise, it's probably just them playing and whatnot. But, let's continue with the video. So, today was kind of, kind of a bit weird. My nephews came over, because if you don't know, they live a little over an hour away, I think. And they surprise visited us. Yeah. Which wasn't really good. My mom wished they would have told before they came over. Just because they came over when we were about to leave and go somewhere. Yeah, we were about to leave and go somewhere. And then they showed up. And it kind of ruined what we were going to do. But it's okay. They didn't know. I just wish they would have called. It's all, I know, it's nice we all got things we wish would happen differently, but it's okay. So yeah, they came over, and then after they came over, we went to, uh, uh, where did we go? Yeah, we went to Arby's, and we got some food, because around then, it was like almost dinner time, or something like that. Maybe it was around 3 o'clock, something like that. Because we do not have an uh, Arby's in our town. So we actually had to drive a little ways to get there. We had to drive like 30 minutes or so because we don't have an Arby's in our town. So we had to drive there. And that's why we went at that time. But I, I think by the time we got home and stuff, it was like 4 o'clock. When we finally ate and whatnot. So then after that, we, after that, yeah, this is when like the crazy stuff happens. This is why I, just, I know why I'm not working too great. My hair is not working. I'm just, I'm like, next video, I wasn't really prepared to make a video today, if you can't tell. It was just kind of, once you hear what I'm going to say, you'll understand, right? So, I was in my bedroom after we had ate, after we got back from eating, and I was thinking about making a video. Not for this channel. I have another channel. <laughs> mm, I'm just thinking about what I'm about to say. I have another channel. Which was supposed to be a vlogging channel. Yeah, a vlogging channel. And let me explain. So, why is it important that it was going to be a vlogging channel? Well, it was originally going to be a vlogging channel. My mom had bought me a camera. And it was going to be a vlogging channel. So, I posted, like, two vlogging videos. And they were crap. Let's just say my videos did not turn out. They were not doing good. And no one really liked my videos. Yeah, it flopped really bad. So I decided, since my vlogging videos weren't doing good, why not make it into a a uh, art channel? I don't know why I was like, typically saying that. But yeah, that's what I mean. Why not turn it into an art channel? So I decided to start making art videos, like drawings or things like that. Because I know some of art. I'm probably not perfect. I've never been to like art school or anything. But yeah, I decided to make videos about art. But I posted almost like 10 videos, I think. And they never really got too many views. I had like one or two videos that got 1,000 views, but they barely got like almost like 20 likes. My videos just weren't doing that good. So I've been trying, trying like oh, half a month or so, and none of my videos have been really doing too good. So I went over there, and I was I decided to paint. It was like a picture of like an ice cream, and I decided to paint it. And what I was doing, I was like painting ice cream, but with Rapunzel colors. And then this one guy just like started talking to me. Now I'm about to tell you some details so you'll understand. So about a month or two ago, my mom said she started talking about Disney is bad and how they have magic and different things in it. Which I agreed. Disney has magic. It has all this bad. Disney has a lot of bad stuff. Like I can go down a list of things Disney has that don't agree with the Bible. Like there is a list. It's just the number one thing is that Disney does, the Bible don't agree with, is magic. That's like the number one thing. 
So, I'm a big fan of Disney. Like, if you don't know, my favorite character is probably Stitch. Really. Um, I'm a big fan of Disney. Like, I had so much... Okay, maybe not so much. At least probably almost 10 items of Stitch. We'll say at least probably almost 10 items. Literally, my birthday, my last birthday was Stitch. Coincidentally, my last birthday was Stitch. So, God starts talking to me. And, um, at this point, me and my family had decided to basically stop watching Disney pretty much. Like, we don't, last I watched a Disney movie or a TV show from Disney was like two, maybe three months ago. And that's something because I watched, I'm telling you, I like love Disney. And it's been almost like two or three months since I have watched a Disney movie. And the only reason, the only reason I had Disney on my TV is because my sister was paying for it. My sister that lives a, a little bit over an hour away, she was paying for it. And that was the only reason I had it. My mom was paying for it. My other sister was paying for it. She was the only reason I had it. So, at this point, I haven't watched a Disney movie in like two or three months probably. Unless like maybe accidentally or I didn't realize it was a Disney movie. So, I'm just sitting there painting this coloring page that's supposed to be based on Rapunzel colors. And God starts talking to me. So, let me tell you this real quick. About a week or two before this, he started telling me this. He t told me that this is what he was telling me. He told me this for like a few days until I finally told like my sister and then I told my mom. He told me Stitch is a demon. And I didn't want to believe it. I mean, who wants to believe their like favorite Disney character could possibly be a demon? Like, who wants to believe that? Like, who in the right mind wants to believe that their favorite Disney character could possibly be a demon? So, my uh, mom was watching on the news or YouTube. I think it was YouTube. She was watching a recording of this guy who apparently found something in their backyard and they were calling it an alien. And my mom was just saying, she's like, it's not an alien. I mean, they're going to call it an alien, but it's not an alien. It's a fallen angel. That's what my mom was saying. She was like, no. She's like, you're going to hear more and more about this. If you read the Bible, she's like, it's not an alien. It's a fallen fallen angel. But they're going to be calling it aliens, so no one will freak out. So that is what my mom was saying. She said, they're not aliens. They're, gonna, they're actually fallen angels. Like, read the Bible. So that's what my mom was calling them. But I didn't know whether to believe her or not. Because I'm like, I don't know. I haven't fully read, this is my Bible, but I haven't fully read the Bible yet. Yeah, if you don't know, I haven't fully read it yet. I started reading it, on, I try to read it every day. And so far, I'm on page 308. So yeah, I'm on page 308. I think I'm in a book called Samuel. And I haven't finished, I haven't fully read it yet. I plan to fully read it one day, but I haven't yet. So, let's continue. Yeah, I told you, this is going to be long, one of my longer videos, probably, like I said. So, um, my mom saw the alien thing, and then I started thinking. Because at this point, he's been telling me that Stitch is a demon for like three or four days. And, like I said, I didn't really want to believe him, because it's just kind of hard knowing that your favorite Disney character that you grew up with as a kid could have possibly been a demon or something like that. You don't want to think that. So I started thinking about it. I'm like, well, what is, I'm like, what does it require to be a demon? I'm like, to be evil? To not be good? And different things are just going down like the list pretty much. And I'm like, well, what is Stitch? He's an alien. <laughs> that just, I thought saying he is an alien just stood out a lot. That stood out like a freaking lot. I was like, holy crap, he's an alien. And he's like, what did my mom just say? And like, my mom just said that aliens are fallen angels. And let's just say I kind of put the pieces together and I'm like, holy crap. I'm just like, holy apple pie, or whatever you want to say. The other day something funny can happen. I was playing a game and I had walked in on the game and something on the game that's very kind of unusual happened and I just said holy moly mac and cheese bite and my dad started la laughing and he's like what the heck did you just say and I was like I said holy moly mac and cheese bites <laughs> I'm like I guess that's my slogan now we just just all start saying holy moly mac and cheese bites and I just thought that was so funny 
So I'm like, I don't, why the heck did I say that? And now, like, holy mac and cheese bites. It's, like, my thing now, I guess. But just continue the story even when you get distracted. But, yeah, I mean, I could be wrong. But it's just what God's been telling me. But I'm like, if you really look at it and stuff, it's very possible Stitch could be a demon. <laughs> I'm not just trying to hide the facts. It's just like what he's been telling me. Continuing the story, though. So like I said, we got home, and I was sitting on my desk, and I was doing that painting where I was using Rapunzel colors. And then God started talking to me. He's like, it's, like, good that you stopped watching Disney. That's really good. That's, like, amazing. And then all of a sudden, he's like, but... Yeah, there's a but. Like, <laughs> Of course there's a but. But... You're still making videos with Disney in them. He's like, you're still promoting, promoting what I told you to stop watching. Let me explain this. This is like the way he wants me to basically explain it. He's like, let's say I had this candy. I had one candy in my hand. And then you had 10 in this hand. You would want the 10 pieces of candy, right? Because it's better and it will last longer and you could probably share it with your friends and whatnot. But he's like, if I told you that the 10 candies were evil and the one candy was good, then you'd want the one candy, right? Right? But then what if I told you to take, if you take the one good candy, that the 10 bad would be given to you. And if you took only this, I could give all your friends the good one. Then you'd be the only one with the bad. Basically... I don't know if that helped explain or anything. All he was really telling me, he's like, even though you stopped watching Disney stuff, like, it was just good. He's like, you're still promoting Disney. And it's like, if you had 10 good candies or 10 bad candies, you would rather have the 10 good candies. So it's like, not don't take the evil candies and spread it to other, to other people. Basically, that's what he's saying. He's like, not don't take the 10 bad candies and spread it to other people and just keep the good ones all for yourself. Basically, what he was telling me, even though I stopped watching Disney and stuff, I was still promoting Disney by posting drawing videos on my YouTube channel. I hope I explained that good. Basically, that's what he's saying. He's like, even though you stopped watching Disney stuff, you were still promoting it by posting drawings of Disney characters. So, yeah. And then let me explain this. This is something else. That isn't all that happened. There's more. So, my videos my art videos they're doing okay but they're not really at the level i want them so i've been trying 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 popping out different ones and some got okay views and then some got like two maybe views maybe two likes but not that good some are doing okay and then some weren't that good and i'm like i would love to do youtube as like my dream job or something because like i mentioned probably before i have epilepsy so i can't ever really actually have like an actual job so I'm like, if being a YouTuber could be my job, I'd be so happy. And then I'm like, I will say this to like the day I probably die. I am not in this for the money. I don't care if I make zero, 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 zero out of this. I am not making this YouTube channel just for money. There might be people out there that do that, but it's not me. I'm like, if I make money out of this, I will say it in God's will. And I will say, God, thank you. And I'll probably wouldn't keep it all for myself, probably. I'd probably share it with other people that need it. And I'd be like, if I make any money off this channel, any at all, I'd say it's because God allowed it. Because Yahweh allowed it. Okay, i say because Yahweh allowed it. Amen to that. And just to continue, I know I'm saying continue for a lot, but just so much. So God's talking to me, and he's like, your videos aren't doing that good, right? He's like, he's like, I know why. I'm like, you know why my videos aren't doing that good? Why they're not doing that good? Question mark. Like, God's like, I know why your videos aren't doing that good. And I'm like, why? Why aren't my videos doing that good? He's like, because these aren't the videos I want you doing. And you, you know that. He's like, you know in the back of your head, these aren't the videos I've been wanting you to do. And I'm like, they're not the videos you want me to do? He's like, no, you know that. He's like, I want you to be making videos almost every day on your channel about God. 
And he's like, this is what he was telling me. He's like, if you start making these on a daily basis, you will have 10. You would have so many people. You'd be so popular. It'd be crazy. And I'm like, and I'm like, dang. And then like at this point, I started getting like, you know when God talks to you, like those chills you get? Can't explain it. It kind of feels like you're being tickled, but on the inside. I guess that's the best way to explain it. But, like, when God talks to you, it kind of feels like you're being tickled on the inside. So, that's, like, what started happening. And then I, like, ran into the living room. Well, the kitchen, I mean. And my mom was standing there. And she's like, what's wrong with you? Why are you crying? And I'm like, I guess because God was talking to me. Because, you know, when God talks to you, you can get emotional. I guess it looked like I was crying. And I just basically told her everything. And then she's like, well, you better listen to him. And I'm like, yeah, I know. I just... <sighs> And just, I didn't mention this. When he was talking to me, he kind of, like, showed me if I kept making videos about, like, drawings and Disney characters, the path that I would be going down. Basically, what he showed me, he showed me, like, how it would affect my life and stuff. Except, instead of being for him and stuff, I would eventually go down a path where, oh, hold on, be back. My mom's calling me. Okay, I'm back. My mom just wanted me to take my medicine. Because, like I said, I have seizures, and I take medicine for it. So, she just wanted me to take it real quick. So, let's continue what I was talking about. So, it's just... Whew, I just need a moment sometimes. Just a moment. This is just... I feel like this video, out of all my videos ever done, I feel like this one is probably one of the more important videos. Like, this might help a lot of people. And sorry, if the thing is shaking, it's just my hand sometimes taps on the computer and it makes it shake. So if you see any shaking, it's probably just that. Because my hand sometimes taps on the computer, it makes it shake. And it's just, I just need a breather sometimes. Like, I do have a moment where you just need to breathe for a couple seconds. Just, okay, let's continue. Where did we leave off? I kind of forgot where we left off. So I think we were talking about, what are we talking about? I kind of forgot where we left off. Because I remember we talked about, how, about Stitch. And how God was telling me that he was a demon. And I talked about how, um... I haven't been watching Disney. And then we talked about how God was telling me that instead of making art videos, I should make videos for him. And he was telling me, basically he was telling me I'd get so many views. He was like, if you make videos about me on the daily, you'll get so many views. And then I was telling my mom this too. I was like, isn't this kind of funny? Kind of funny that when I make my videos about God, they seem to always turn out better than when I make videos about anything else. The videos I make about God always seem to turn out better. And then like I'm already, like I probably already said this, I was not really prepared to make a video today. Like, as you can tell by my hair and stuff, I wasn't really prepared to make a video today. Yeah, I was like not really prepared to make a video today. But, you know, God works in mysterious ways, so if I'm meant to make a video today, I will. So... I should be uploading a lot more. You just see me uploading a lot more. It's just, all the stuff that's happened is just crazy. Just crazy. Just crazy. So yeah, basically God told me that I should stop doing that channel and I should start posting on here. And I don't know if I mentioned this already, but he told me, he was like, you know why you got that camera? He's like, because I got a camera, and since I started making these art videos, because I was planning to do a vlogging channel, but now I have these art videos, uh, I haven't really been using the camera, and I felt kind of bad, because Mom bought it, and it wasn't, like, the cheapest. So, I want to use it, but I didn't really know what to use it for. God's like, I know what you can use it for. He's like, record every Bible holiday. These are things he's been telling me to do. He's like, you need to record every Bible holiday and post it. He's like, most people aren't promote, like, a couple Bible holidays. He's like, they're, like, 30-something Bible holidays. And, like, people out here only be promoting, like, one, two, maybe three. He's like, almost everyone just promotes Passover and Sukkot. And he's like, there's, like, 30 other holidays that no one's promoting out here. And he's like, some people might think those are the only two holidays. He's like, no, there's, like, 30 or more holidays in the Bible that y'all aren't promoting. Yeah, he's telling me that I need to promote every every holiday in the bible which i'm like okay if that's what i need to do and then what i was really worried about i'm like this is a bible channel what am i what is a video thing i could like you know post every day what's something i could upload every day to keep people entertained and he was like 
there is a ton. He's been giving me video ideas now. The night who really said that, he's been giving me like video ideas. Like he said, almost every video you want to make on your vlogging channel, you can turn into a video about God. He's like, how about, um, oh, I'm trying to think. Uh, like, how about you make a video, spend a day with y'all, when you just talk about God. He's like, so I was going to read the Bible to y'all, and then y'all could listen. But for some reason, I just never really got around to doing that. I think I posted one video, and then just stopped doing it. Not exactly sure why. But I plan to start doing that again. I'm probably going to restart, because I only have like one uploaded, and it probably wasn't even that good. So what I'm going to do is, I think I finally figured out how to put subtitles on my video. So I think I'm going to put subtitles and I can allow comments so y'all can finally comment on my videos, which is going to be amazing. So if you have anything to ask me, anything at all, comment on this video. I will try to reply as to many as possible. Okay? Okay. And so I plan to start posting videos where I read my Bible on a daily basis. Okay? So another thing is he's been telling me you can make on any video about God. He's just like, he wants everybody to know. He's been like, you need to tell everyone, you need to tell everyone. He's like, there's so much going on. And people think it's a joke. Literally, I have, I think they're my cousins. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're my cousins. And they don't really believe the same way we do. They think what we say is kind of cuckoo, loony, crazy, however you want to put it. And they don't really believe the same way we do it. Which is okay, we're not decent for it. And it's not like we haven't told them the way we believe. Like, my mom has tried to tell them, they just choose not to listen. There's people like that. But I just hope maybe this helps some people, and maybe they'll look into it, and maybe they'll start listening. I don't know. Like, I'm just a 17-year-old girl that God is trying to use me, I guess. I'm pretty sure he's trying to use me. Yeah, you can't tell. I'm 17. A lot of people get my age wrong and think that I'm younger than I am. But I'm 17. But like I'm saying, I plan to start uploading more, and I just hope that y'all really like my videos. I mean, I don't really know what else to say. Um, I feel like we should just have a moment of, to pray. Like, just pray whatever you're feeling, and I'm like, I just feel like we should just pray it real quick. I pray, y'all wait, if this YouTube channel isn't in your will, which I'm pretty sure it is, if it is not in your will, that it won't work out and it will stop. But if this YouTube channel is in your will, it will continue to grow and reach out to as many people as needed. In the name of Yahweh, amen. So, yeah. So, whatever you pray, it, you can keep it a secret, whatever. Just pray whatever you're feeling at the moment. So, another thing is, it's another thing. Some more videos. God's been giving me like all these videos. Like I said, at first he wants me to record all the holidays. Then he, I was starting to read the Bible again. Now, this is what I've been kind of thinking. Since I got the camera, I'm like, if anything was to happen, we could record it because the camera I got does, you know, I mean, almost every camera in the world, you don't have to have a internet to record in case, like, the internet went out or something. So I just thought that was kind of cool. Like, in case we did see something unnatural, we could record it. We probably never will. But, just in case, I just thought that was kind of interesting. Um, but, yeah, just, God's been telling me stuff, and, like, if he tells me anything else about Disney or anything, I will try to tell y'all. The only thing, the main thing he's just been telling me, he's been telling me that, like, like I said, Stitch is a demon. That's the main thing he's been telling me. And I think he's mainly been telling me that, because, like I said, Stitch is one of, like, my favorite Disney characters. But I'm like, I'm here for God and no one else. No one else. So I'm like, I plan to get rid of all my Stitch stuff. And I'm like, back in Bible times, when they found out something was evil or something, they would like burn it in fire. And I'm like, we can't really do that in our time. So since I don't really know what to do with my Stitch stuff, i just been putting it in my closet. And maybe I might throw it away. I don't know. We haven't decided yet. I've just been kind of putting it in my closet and I plan to throw it away. So, this is another example of what God's been telling me. So, I have this Stitch backpack, which I can't really get rid of it because it's most of my stuff. And if I got rid of it, I wouldn't have anywhere to put my stuff. So, I was talking to my mom. I'm like, what are we going to do? I can't really get rid of the backpack because it has my stuff in it. And I'm like, if I get rid of it, I don't have anywhere to put my stuff. 
So I was talking to my mom, and I was like, if we get any extra money, could I please get just a plain cheap backpack from uh, Walmart or something? And then I will get rid of that stitch one immediately if we do that. And we were talking about it, and she was kind of like, okay, yeah, we'll see if we can next time I get paid. And I'm like, just, I'm like, thank you, because I'm like, a second my mom gets me a different backpack. I'm going to put that stitch one somewhere else. I don't want no evil in this house, if you know what I mean. And then this is another funny thing. Me and my mom were talking about what I what had happened earlier. And I was thinking of this song. I'm not going to say the song because I'm not sure if that's copyright or not. IDK, I'm not really sure. I'm just going to sing you what came in my mind. So this is a song that already exists, but I edited the words. I changed the words and to this. And I just thought it was funny. So what was going on? I was thinking about, like, when someone doesn't listen to what God's saying, like even me, sometimes it takes me a little bit to listen to them. So I'm like, if you're doing something that, and you know God's talking to you, I'm like, this is what you got to do. And this is the little saying I came up with. I thought it was funny. This is the little saying I came up with. I just thought it was so funny. The saying was, stop, drop, and think. That's what the saying was. So I'm like, if you ever hear from God and you're not listening, just stop, drop, and think. And I just thought that was so funny. You probably know what song I'm talking about just by me saying that. Well, it wasn't really even a song. It was more of like a meme, I think. I don't know. I saw it somewhere, and that's what came to my brain. Just stop, drop, and think. Or like, or you could say this. This is even better. Stop, drop, and think. Yahweh is near. That's even better. Whichever one you prefer saying. But I'm like, if God's ever trying to talk to you and you're not listening, just stop, drop, think, and listen to Yahweh. But yeah, that was just cool. I just like that little saying. I might start using that in my videos, a little saying. I thought that was interesting that that came to my brain too. Just stop, drop, and think. It's like whenever you're not listening to God, just stop, drop, and think. It's quick and easy and it just sounds kind of funny to me. Not really funny, just kind of like cool, like, oh, that's a cool saying, you know. So, we just, like I guess this video is probably longer than most of my videos. But just like so much. So, like I said, I plan to upload more. I guess I wasn't listening to God too well. But I plan to upload more. I plan, I'm probably going to stop my other channel. Just completely stop it. I plan to upload more on this channel. I plan to eat more of God. Because, like I was saying, God showed me if I kept making art videos and stuff, the path I was going down. And he showed me. He literally, like, showed myself and showed me. He was saying, like, in a year or two from now, or however long, I don't know if it was a year or two now, he just showed me, and I would be pleasing people on earth rather than pleasing him, basically. I'd be doing what other people wanted instead of listening to him. And we do not want that. Heck to the no. Heck to the no. So, like I said, I'm going to stop that channel probably, and I'm going to be uploading on here, I hope, a lot more. Like, a lot more, I hope. And if you don't think, I'm not saying you have to start a YouTube channel. No. You do not have to start a YouTube channel to be close with God. No. All I am saying, if you feel like you're not close to God, all it takes, all it takes, all it takes is to open this and read it. That's all it takes. <laughs> Literally, it just takes. It just takes. Open and read. You don't have to... Make a YouTube channel or anything. Like, if you think you're not close to God, all it takes is open and read. Oh, before I end this video, God wanted me to do this. I'm not exactly sure. I'm just listening to what God wants. So, I was reading my Bible, and it opened to the... Well, it didn't, like... Okay, it just opened, like, to this. Not earlier, but now. And it's the Ten Commandments. And God was telling me... This is what he was, like, telling me. He was like, there's people out there... That read the Bible and stuff. But do they really know the Ten Commandments? And I'm like, I think there was like two or three in here I already knew. But there's like ten. And I'm like, I only knew like two or three of them. So, he wanted me to read you the Ten Commandments. I don't know if it's kind of a big deal in someone's life. Meant for someone. I don't know. But he wanted me to read you the Ten Commandments. So, they're right here. And I'm going to read them. It says, number one, you may not love any one or anything more than you love God. Two, you may not worship or put more importance on any person or thing other than God. You must worship only the Lord, not a friend, not a movie star, or sports. 
slash heroes. Not a car or a skateboard, nothing. Three, you may not swear. Use God's holy name in a loving way, never to express anger or frustration. Four, one day of your week should be aside for resting and worshiping God. Five, respect your parents, love them, and the Lord will reward you in your life. Six, you may not hate other people. Don't ever think of hurting someone else in any way. Seven, keep your thoughts and actions pure. Husband and wife should share their special love only with each other. Eight, do not take anything that does not belong to you. Nine, you may not tell lies, especially when that lie will hurt someone else. Ten, do not be jealous of what others have. You may not be jealous of your friend, new toy or clothes or the big house your neighbor lives in. Be satisfied with what you have. So, like I said, those are the Ten Commandments. And for some reason, God really told me that I should read, read those. He's like, you need to read the Ten Commandments in this video. I don't know why. Maybe it's meant for someone else. Maybe someone needs to hear that. But even I'm saying, there's a lot of people that read the Bible, but probably don't even know Ten Commandments. There's probably a lot of people in the world that say, oh, the Ten Commandments, I know what that is. But probably don't even know what the Ten Commandments are. So he really, really wanted me to read it in this video. In this video, he really wanted me to read it. But yeah, that's pretty much the end of the video. I plan to upload a lot more. And I just, whoever watches this video, I'm, you know, I got messy hair and stuff. But like I said, I wasn't really even prepared to make a video. But I hope you enjoyed my video. And just, I hope whoever watches this was meant to watch it. And just know that Yahweh loves you. And I guess bye for now.